What's up people, DevSage here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you about interfaces in TypeScript. In the last video we went over function return types. In this video we'll be going over interfaces. So if you have any experience with higher level languages such as Java or C Sharp, you're probably already familiar with the concept of interfaces. So what is an interface? An interface is two things. An interface is basically a blueprint that defines the structure of an object. An interface is also a contract. Any object or class that decides to implement or use that interface agrees to follow the internal structure of that interface. It agrees to have all of the same methods and variables. So let me give you an example. So let's define an interface person. So this person is going to have a first name of type string. Oops. And it's going to have a last name. So this is our person interface. So let's see it in action. So let's create a function called greet. Greet is going to take in an argument person. This person is going to be of type person. So we can use interfaces as types in order to define the expected structure of this object person that we're passing in. So whenever we call this function and pass in an object, TypeScript is going to expect that the object we pass in is going to have a first name property, which is going to be a string, and a last name property, which is going to be a string. So let's uh, go inside of our greet. Let's return uh, hello person dot first name and let's uh, pass in the last name too so person dot last name okay and so the call to greet would look something like this so console log greet and we're going to pass in an object this object needs to follow this person interface remember interfaces are contracts so the object I pass in must have a first name property I'm going to say dev and it needs a last name property. I'm going to call this sage. So we have our function greet. Greet takes in an argument person, which is of type person here, our interface. This means that whatever object is passed in as the person here, this object must follow the structure of this interface. Remember, interfaces are contracts. So down here, when we call greet, we need to pass in an object that follows the same interface as person. And that's what we have here. First name, last name. In order to make this a little bit cleaner, we can actually move this out. So instead of directly injecting the object, let's create like a variable. Uh, so let's say const, well, let's say me equals, and we can have that object there. And let's just pass in me. And that's a little bit cleaner. So you might notice that our greet function and our me variable have red error lines underneath them. Well, this is happening because our main.ts and our main.js files, they're in the same folder. And Visual Studio Code, my text editor here, thinks that I've defined this function twice and, and thinks I defined this variable twice. This is no big deal. This is just a perk of the editor. This isn't actually an error. So, Let's see what happens if we try to pass in a person that doesn't satisfy this interface. 
So let's say we let's just remove our first name and just give a last name. As you can see, we have an error right here. It says property first name is missing in this object, but required in type person. So if we try to pass in an object that doesn't satisfy the interface, it's going to throw an error. TypeScript expects this object to satisfy this interface. So let's put this back. So what if we wanted to make some of our properties in our interface optional? Well, we can just go up to the property that we want to make optional. Let's say first name and right before the colon, put a question mark. Now we've just told TypeScript, hey, I have an interface person. This person has two fields, first name and last name, both of type string. First name is actually optional. So you have the option of passing it in or not, but last name has to be passed in. So if I were to go back down here and I deleted first name and I saved it, we don't have any errors. Okay, so let's say I put first name back, but took out last name, we get an error. Property last name is missing. So that is a little bit about interfaces. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with this series. But other than that, peace. Thank you.